Hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video is all about decorating our guest bathroom downstairs as you all know if you watch my empty house tour that we have a guest bedroom and a guest bath downstairs so today i'm just going to be showing me decorating it um since we moved in we really we haven't done anything to the bathroom um i have attempted to put handles on our cabinets in here um, I will show you how that came out. I do plan on recording a video doing it but upstairs in our other guest bathroom because this one was a trial and error. We decided to go with a different handle for our smaller drawers. So I have to fill in the holes for that. So if you want to see how I decorate our guest bathroom downstairs, continue to watch. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. So stay tuned. This is what our sandwiches look like. We're having it for lunch. So these are our Hawaiian rolls with butter, American cheese, provolone, and turkey. And then on the top, I just melted some butter, garlic salt, and oregano. So this is what we're gonna have with some chips. So this is the current state of our bathroom. This is the mirror. So it's just a plain big glass mirror. We don't plan on doing any frame or anything around it because I'm perfectly fine how it looks. And then now it was the midnight citrus that I had, but now it's sweater weather from Bath and Body Works because that's my favorite scent. This is just the items that I had to fill in our holes. So as you can see, um, we went with a smaller like pool handle but we didn't like it so I took those out and these are the handles that I put on I got these from Home Depot so the only things that are in here is this paper towel holder I probably get another one this was like three dollars at Walmart um all right Bath and Body Works soap I do plan on changing this out I attempted to see how to do it and because of the bowl of the sink it's not a lot of space so we already bought the items to change this out if you want me to show you then i can show you those things as well and this is the shower area and we also plan on changing out the shower head and the faucet so if you want to get some more details about our bathroom the mirror was standard the faucet was standard the cabinets, we, it was standard. I think we had to pay to get white. I'm not 100% sure. Toilet standard, every faucet fixture and the little towel racks, they're all chrome. That was standard, then change that out. 
the towel in our back we did upgrade the toweling so all it is sewing towel with gray grout the little soap thing is standard we wanted a shower nook area but we waited too long to act so we couldn't get it but that's okay and then the floors were standard as well so now i'm going to show you everything that i got if i remember the place that i got it from i will let you know where it's from but also i will link everything in the description box below so let's see everything that i got so this is a basket i got this basket from like dollar general um when i had my apartment but i don't plan on keeping this inside of our bathroom but for right now it helps us store our tissue as you know there is a shortage with tissue and paper towels again and then i just have this bottle of febreze so you know when people use the bathroom they can spray our shower curtain i got this shower curtain from amazon on the picture it shows that it was a gray so i was trying to go with a gray and white striped look so this is what the bottom looks like but I have hung this up to see what it looks like. And honestly, it doesn't look gray. It looks like a bluish gray, but it's okay. I did get two of these because it's a girl that I follow. She lives in Austin. Um, her name is Kayla Simone. And I think her Instagram is Kayla Simone Home. And she did like a pleated look in her bathroom. So I wanted to try to mimic that because I like the look of it. So I got two shower curtains for that. Got a plain shower curtain from amazon the shower hooks that i got they're from amazon as well i got these because you can just hang it so one hook would be for the shower curtain itself and the other one would be for the plastic one so i thought it would be way easier to use these so i got these from amazon next we got our toilet bowl brush i got this from home goods because I wanted it to match our shower curtain. So it's like a gray clay color. But honestly, it goes well with the shower curtain. So got this from Home Goods. <laughs> the hardest thing for me to find was bathroom shower mats. Because I originally got some shower mats from Target. On the description, it said that it was white. But once I got them and I laid them on the floor, they look more cream than white. So. <laughs> I went to Target one day and I was like, let me look at this shower mat. So the shower mat I had, I compared it to a white one that was in store and I was like, yeah, that's totally cream. So I took it back and then I found these. So it's similar to the one that I originally had. And this one is just a pure white one. So this is from Target, smaller one as well. Then I just got a plain white towel to put on the hook by the sink but i may not put that on there so was, i got these little led christmas little light up so i thought that was really pretty and it'll go in the bathroom since the bathroom is white and gray so i got a bigger one and a smaller one so i plan on putting it in the corner of the bathroom and then i just got this random candle holder you just put the candle in the inside but i thought it would go good with the look so honestly i thought these towels were the kitchen i don't know why because they was in the bathroom section at target but i got these hand towels so they're gray and white and they have snowflakes on them so one has like a little design at the bottom and then this one just had regular snowflakes so i probably put this in our bathroom to go with the little Christmas decor with the light ups that I have. So this is everything that I'm going to put in the bathroom. So now I'm gonna try to assemble everything in the bathroom and I will record so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so once again, I want that pleated luxury look. So all I'm gonna do is take the shower curtain and my shower curtain has the slits in it. So all I'm gonna do is fold it like this and I'm gonna hook mine on this side, on this side. So the fold will go to your right. So you wanna make sure that you hook it in the same direction. If not, your pleats will not look right. So I'm just gonna do it like this. I'm gonna move to the other side. Hopefully I can keep my balance. So once again, you just fold it. 
And since I want my pleats to go to the right, I'm going to fold it on the back side. Hook it on the back side, then I'm going to fold it again. And hook it. So when you open it, you see it has that pleated look. And it looks really luxury. So the catch with this is you have to have two shower curtains and you're gonna use one plastic liner. So also I had trouble finding a shower curtain height. So I got the 74 by 74, I believe, but it was too short and I didn't like how it looked. So I got the 84 inches. So I'm going to use fabric tape that my friend told me about and I'm just gonna fold it to like right here like fold it back so it's not hanging on the ground so so this is what it looks like with the fabric tape i got it just enough off of the floor so it's not hanging on the floor compared to that that's how it looks previously so all i'm gonna do i'm gonna do the second one and i'll come back and show how it all looks so this is what the shower curtain looks like like i said i wanted that pleated look and as you can see i him not him. I use fabric tape for the bottom so it can be off of the floor. But this is what it looks like. Like I said, this is two shower curtains and one shower liner. So next, I'm just gonna throw in the shower mats, the decor that I got, and then we'll see how it looks at the end. That's for that. Now I'm gonna hang these. This one. So now I'm just gonna put the floor mats down and our toilet bowl cleaner. I'm gonna put that on the far side over there in that corner. So I know some people are like, you're crazy to have white mats in your bathroom, but like I said, we're gonna have a no shoe policy in our house. So nobody really can get the floor dirty. Thank you. 